Welcome to today's presentation. In this video, we are going to talk about molar solutions. A bottle containing nitric 5 acid has a label with the following information. Density 1.44 grams per cubic centimeters. Relative formula mass 63. Percentage purity 65%. Calculate the concentration of nitric 5 acid in moles per liter. And then for part B, what will be the concentration of a solution prepared by diluting 20 cubic centimeters of the concentrated acid to make 250 cubic centimeters of the acid solution? So for part A, we are required to calculate the concentration of nitric 5 acid in moles per liter. In other words, we are required to determine the molarity. Take note that molarity here refers to the number of moles of the solute in one liter of solution. So molarity is calculated by the formula. Mass of solute, that is the mass of solute, in one liter of solution all over the molar mass the molar mass or relative formula mass so from this formula we are first of all going to determine the mass of solute in one liter of the solution so the solute in this case is nitric 5 acid so mass of the solute that is mass of acid in one liter of solution is given by density times volume and the density we are given as 1.44 grams per cubic centimeters so here we have 1.44 grams per cubic centimeters and then we multiply by the volume remember we are determining the mass in one liter of a solution so here one liter is 1000 cubic centimeters and that means when we multiply we'll get 1440 grams so this is the mass of the acid in one liter of the solution but we are also told that the percentage purity is 65%. That means the mass of pure acid, that is pure nitric acid, is 65% of the total mass. That is 65 over 100 times 1440. And this from my calculator, I'm getting 936 grams so this is the mass of pure nitric 5 acid in the solution with this we can now come back to the formula molarity so we have mass of the solute so here molarity is equal to mass of the solute which is 936 over the molar mass or relative formula mass we have it here 63 so we divide by 63 and this should give us 14.86 moles per liter that is for part a for part b what will be the concentration of a solution prepared by diluting 20 cubic centimeters of the concentrated acid to make 250 cubic centimeters of the acid solution? So in order to get the concentration of the solution, we'll have to consider this formula. The initial concentration of the concentrated acid times initial volume of the concentrated acid should be equal to final concentration of the diluted solution times the final volume 
of the diluted solution. Initial concentration of the concentrated acid we had worked out in part A, that is 14.86 moles per liter. So we'll have it here, 14.8, sorry, 86. And then we multiply by the initial volume. The initial volume we have is 20 cubic centimeters of the acid. So remember 20 cubic centimeters of the concentrated acid is to be diluted. And when it is diluted, the new volume will be 250 cubic centimeters. So the initial volume times 20 cubic centimeters. This should be equated to the final concentration of the diluted solution times the final volume 250. The concentration of the solution prepared will therefore become, so when you divide both sides by 250, we have 14.86 times 20 all over 250. And this should give us 1.188 moles per liter. So this is the concentration of the solution to be prepared. And with this, we mark the end of the solution to this problem. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.